Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have x to the power of x squared equal to 16. Now how do I deal with this? Okay, now this is what I want to do. Why don't I square both sides? So if I do that, I have x to the power of x squared, then I will square this. Then on the right, I have 16 to the power of 2. What again should I do? Um, do you know that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as um, a to the power of m n. You can always multiply the powers, right? Then looking at this, this two here is a power and x squared here is also a power, right? So this means that, okay, so from here, we can now multiply the powers here. So we get x to the power of 2x, right? And it's going to be 2x squared because this power 2 will multiply x squared. So we get 2x squared, which will be equal to 16 to the power of 2. Now, from here, can I split this into 2? Yes, because I can have x squared. Then I have x squared again as the other power, meaning that I cut it like this. And this is equal to 16 to the power of 2. And again, what do we observe? We have the same thing here, x squared, x squared, right? Okay, um, see what I'm trying to say? If you have something like this, let me write it over here. If you have anything like um, x to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2, this means that x is definitely equal to 2 since the, the power and the basis are both equal to 2. Okay, the power is equal to 2, the base is equal to 2, therefore x is 2, we can conclude. Now, that is the same principle I want to apply here. From here, x to the power of 2, and then x to the power of 2, this becomes the base, and this becomes the power. But then, this is equal to, 16 is 4 squared, right? Then, to the power of 2. And what normally happens to the power is that you multiply them, right? So x squared and then x squared will be equal to 4 to the power of 4. Now, let's pick the base. If we pick the base now, x to the power of 2 is the base and it's equal to 4 because 4 is also here as the base. Okay. And then from here, we can conclude that x squared is also equal to 2 squared, right? And what can we observe? Since the bases are the same, why don't we work with the powers, right? So we can say that x is equal to 2. I just want to get only the positive value, right? If not, from here, I can get two values of x, the negative and the positive. But I'm picking only the positive. So this is what we have. And then if I work with the power as well, it is going to be the same thing. x squared will be equal to 4. And then it's giving us the same thing. So it's correct to conclude that x is equal to 2. Thank you for watching.